op die eerste een wees, as hy so aanhou met sy goeie vertoonings van die afgeroepen tyd, wat hy voel sy beste nog was. Well, I think I can say it's now when you've been a size of incomes. Um, so it's a little bit of a medal that you've been able to do. But it's more of a spank working for you. So I think for myself, so it's now going to be the energizer series in Europa. What is one of your overseas prestations that's for you the greatest surprising? Ons het in oefening taie gevat en dinge het goed gelijk, so ek het geweet ek sal nie slag hard op nie, maar ek denk, ek nie gedink ek gaan al my wetter bewee nie. Het help as jou africhter een gekwalificeerde sport- en aromatherapeet is, dan kan hy voel as daar probleem is en so voorkomend optree. Die gymnasium en baanprogram is so opgestel, dat alles saam opbouw na een piek toe. Het is daarop genoeg om die hele lichaam te ontwikkel, so dat alles in balans is. Ons gaan nou concentreer meer op die SA kampioenskap 22 maart en dan vir al die engine reeks wat begin in Zuid-Afrika. En vandaaf sal ons werk vir die Commonwealth Games in Engeland. Hy weet dat hy nog een lang atletiek loopbaan voor hom het en wil nie oor haastig te hoog tykens vir homself stel nie. Eder een vir een bereikbare tree, tot hy die beste is wat hy moendlik kan wees. Ons hou sy loopbaan fijn top. En het features one of the greatest athletes Afrika has ever produced. En believe me, there's a few to be proud of have been produced by this continent. Frank Fredericks, in lane 5. If his mind is elsewhere tonight, I think we can forgive him. His wife is expecting a baby and there was some doubt about his participation right until the last moment. But he's here and competing and it really is the master alongside the pupil. And he is the master. The pupil on his inside, Monet Narkel. And if you believe newspaper talk, well that man there could soon be coached by the man on his outside. Monet Narkel. A fallout with his own coach, and Frank Fredericks could well be the new one. So Narkel, disappointing in the 100, can, can he really turn that around in the 200? Narkel, the national record holder at this distance, he set that mark last year, 20.10. But Fredericks, well, Namibia, in their relatively short history, in fact it's a short history, produced four or won four Olympic medals. And he has won all of them. Frank Fredericks in lane five. Narkel on his inside in four. Lane one is vacant. Moving out to uh, lane six is Leroy Newton. And nearest to the camera, well that's uh, Joseph van der Linde. Frank Fredericks, the world champion at this distance, 10 years ago. Well, Fredericks is away well on his inside morning. Arkland, Narkel is chasing after him. And these two's time to get away. Clinton Fence is having a pretty good run there in lane three. It's Narkel who leads off the bend. What has Fredericks got? And here comes Fredericks. Oh, he's a graceful athlete, isn't he? Clinton Fence having a good run, but Fredericks just does enough. 20.41, and he made it look easy. This for sicker music and beweging. A fantastic athlete, and it's so lekker om naar om te kijken. Morgen hy nagel daar wat hy uitsteek in het draai gehaard lip het en wat baie goed spoed gehou het hier oor die laaste 50 meter. Ek denk een fantastische wetlip vir hom, sowel as Clinton Venter, wat baie sterk teerkom hier op die einde. Maar Frank Fredericks, hy is net in een klas van sy eie. No, you're absolutely right. Not only goes, uh, not only goes in this field, but in most of the fields in which he runs. Had it not been for Michael Johnson, this fella would have been, I think, the outstanding sprinter of the last 10 years or so. In fact, more. That world title he won at Stuttgart in 1993. And those marks inside 10 seconds for 100 and inside 20 seconds for 200. Well, had it not been for that astounding performance by Johnson in Atlanta, 
Well, bear in mind that Fredericks went well inside 20 seconds on that occasion. Fredericks really would have been the star of the games, but there you go, 20.40. And Fredericks has had plenty of distractions over the course of the last week. Well, he did that. He was only really trying in the last 50 metres. A good run from Clinton Venter there. 20.45, another big leap forward from him. A Mornay Narkel, just a suggestion he's getting back to something like his best form. Conditions not that great this evening. Bit of a wind into the face of the runners, but it is dropping. So let's hope as the wind drops during the evening and we get some decent times. Quite a strong field. That's lane number one, Devin Fernandez, a local man. But on his outside, some really big names. That's bit number three, Justin Green, from the Stephrys, down here in Quizzle and Natal. But there's the man at the moment, Lee Julie's World Student Games champion from 2003. His first 100 metres of the season. Next to him, his first run of the APSA series, Matthew Quinn. Silver medal.